single day. Hey, Shara County, this is Shara County Cop Watch. And today's pitch, uh, while you see the sign, cops are acting like not fucking Nazis, which they are. But America is uh, becoming Nazi Germany because if you speak out against your government, you will be fined $350 million and uh, arrested and charged 95 times. So I'm confused. Are you pro-police or anti-police? Uh, I am for police, but not an illegal military police state. Our founding fathers fought for freedom, and uh, now with everything that's going on, if you speak out, you'd be fined $350 million or arrested and charged 95 that's not the times. Police, then. That's the government. Got it. Okay. All right. Yep. Yeah, yeah. But our police are copying Nazi Germany. They're making their own flag to worship now. That's bad. We're not supposed to repeat history, right? Uh, no, that's not a worship thing. It's a. Uh... It, I'm a retired cop. I, right. It, I agree with a little bit of what right. you're saying. Right. Yeah, it, it is a worship it's, thing. This is cool. Well, I'm good. Yeah. Right. There you go. Very good. America's becoming like Nazi Germany. America's becoming like Nazi Germany. We'll be fined $350 million. Oh, my God. We should not worship Nazism. We should not worship Nazism. That's bad, okay? You can, you can go to Cuba if you'd like Nazism, okay? America's becoming... America's becoming like Nazi Germany. You'll be fined $350 million like Trump was if you speak out. Or arrested and charged 95 times, whichever you'd like. Yes, Nazism is bad. Oh, we got to watch that cop's here. He'll tase you if you cross the road. America's becoming like... Yep, America is becoming like Nazi Germany. That's correct. Yeah, people like you, asshole. What, what? We're not supposed to be like Nazi Germany, man. We're not supposed to be like Nazi Germany, man. That's okay. That's okay, man. That's okay, man. That's okay. Yes, yes, you will. Yes, will. Everybody will know that you're uh, un-American. That's correct. Yeah. If you hate America, you can go to Cuba. America is becoming like Nazi Germany. America's becoming like Nazi Germany. You'll be fined $350 million if you speak out against the government like Trump was. I hate Trump. You do? It's disgusting. You, so you, do you hate America? No, it's not for America. All right. Okay, are you at least libertarian? Listen, I'm the farthest left you get, okay? Oh, my God. There's other countries for that. There's other countries for that. Like America 31, was it? 1492? Right. Probably. Right. So you hate freedom? No, I hate freedom. He's not freedom. Really? So you agree with all this lawfare that's going on? Anybody that speaks no, out, like you be crucified. Piece of shit. All right. What do you think Biden is? What about he's old? Right. He's a couple, he's a couple, he's a couple and he should be put on a cross and no, crucified. Yeah, he no, should. Nobody should be put on a cross. Oh, uh, Jesus was. He fought for freedom. I don't know atheist. I don't believe in that either. Oh my! What? Wow. There's other countries. I know. There's other countries that would love you, man. If you if you hate freedom. What, what is it? Oh, all right. So let's keep uh, Biden letting everybody in and all that. Who says I like Biden? Nobody. All right. Uh, you're, I think you kind of are. America's becoming like Nazi Germany. If you speak out, you'll be fined $350 million. Just like Trump was. It's called debating, inciting thought. And I don't like her thought. My God. It's un-American. America's becoming like Nazi Germany. Oh, there is a cop here. He will tase you if you illegally uh, walk across. Be careful. America's becoming like Nazi Germany. You will be arrested and charged 95 times like Trump was if you speak out. Or get a $350 million fine. It's up to you, whichever you'd like. Because that's what Nazis do. Not America. America's becoming like Nazi Germany. You'll be fined $350 million like they did to Trump if you speak out. All right, there you go. So you know that this is not America. Do we got to take our country back or what? Yes. Second Amendment's for deer hunting or government hunting? Try, try like That's correct. The Civil War is coming, man. Beans, bullets, and rice. <coughs> America's becoming like Nazi Germany. You'd be fined $350 million if you speak out like Trump did. Or charged and arrested 95 times. That's what, that's what Nazis do, not America. 
who you vote for? Who am I voting? I would prefer Rand Paul, Libertarian. He's not even in the running, though. They're going to have a third party. Did you hear about it? He could be. Or it could be Kennedy. Half of Kennedy is good. Kennedy might run. Right? Anybody but Biden. How about that? That's a good answer. There you go. There you go. Right there. Anybody but Biden. Now, can we put Biden on a cross and crucify him like we did Jesus because he fucked America up so bad? And the world, by the way. Oh, my God. You're awful for saying I'm awful. Oh, my God. In public. Holy crap. Wow. America's becoming like... America's becoming like Nazi Germany. You will be fined $350 million. You got to be careful. He's going to tase you if you don't get out. You got you to get out. He'll tase you. Yeah, I don't want to see you get tased. I didn't realize this got a road across. Yes, yes, there is a road. What does that mean? All right, so we're supposed to be a free country, but yet now we're going the way of Nazi Germany because we're doing lawfare. reacting. So th this is, Nazis created this flag to, uh, uh, to swear by. Now the, the cops took this flag and they want us to swear by this flag just like they had to swear by that flag and that's bad we're not supposed to repeat history right you saw what they're doing to trump right what they're doing to trump that's not american that's like freaking un-american nazism well i'm not a trump person honey he's an asshole right <laughs> but you, you know biden really fucked up america and the world right i mean really fucked up america we're at literally world war three doorstep right now seriously yeah absolutely there are other countries that do love communism though America's becoming like Nazi Germany, you'll be fine. Yeah, you gotta be careful. He is directing traffic. He'll tase you if you go. I don't want to see you get tased. I don't want to see you get tased. I know, right? Well, you know these old drivers here, man. It's pretty bad. But I'm not old, right? <laughs> America's becoming like Nazi Germany. You'll be fined $350 million like Trump was if you speak out. Or arrested and charged 95 times, whichever. Does it feel like America or Nazi Germany? What? Does it feel like America or Nazi Germany? Right now? Right now, it feels like Nazi Germany. It does. It does. It yeah. feels like I'm at a... There's uh, all the goddamn Trumpers down market. here in Florida. Oh, all right. Why? Well, You're on the opposite side of that, right? I am a libertarian. Oh, there you go. Right? Why are you a Bidenista? I'm a socialist. Oh yeah. no. Yeah, Antifa. Are you serious? With you. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. Hold on. Hey, Sorry, boy. not Antifa. Not Antifa. Yeah, he is. Nope, libertarian. No, Antifa, right? Yeah. We're yeah, we're supposed to have cops, but not an illegal military police state. Good Not an illegal military police state, all right? You can have Cuba if you want that, okay? Not here, okay? Please be an American, not a communist. Tase him, man. Tase him. Get it. Tase him. Get it out. You gotta keep moving. You gotta keep moving. Now, now you, you know, Andy did that. He'd be arrested and tased. Oh shit. America's becoming like Nazi Germany would be fine. America's becoming like Nazi Germany would be fined three hundred and fifty million dollars like Trump was if you speak out or arrested and charged ninety five times, whichever you'd like. It's pretty sad, right? Have you ever been in downtown Baltimore walking around at night? Then you want to call a cop a Nazi. Right? Oh, who's, who is the first offense? You're, you're supposed to be the first. You're, you're supposed to defend yourself. The cops will never make, beat the bullet when they're shooting at you, okay? Bullshit. Bullshit. Yeah. Ask that cop if he can beat a bullet at 1,200 feet per second. Come on, who's man. Nazi? Why don't you just put Nazi here? That's, they're acting like Nazis, dude. They're acting like Nazis. Why? Do you support Biden? Oh, no. Okay. There you go. I don't want to even talk to you. I don't want to talk to you either. I don't like talking to Nazis. America's becoming like Nazi Germany. You'll be fined $350 million if you speak out like Trump did. Or arrested and charged, whichever you like. That's what I thought. Yes. You are really short. Yes. Yes, I am short. Yep, there you go. Correct. Yep. That makes me un-America for being short. Right? Yeah. 
You imagine if my name was Trump, I would be a lawfared, right? Yeah, totally exactly. Oh my God, this guy hates America right there. Stay away, he might take your wallet and give it to your crane, be careful. America's becoming like now. America's becoming like Nazi Germany. Uh, if you speak out, you'll be fined $350 million like Trump was. Or arrested and charged 95 times. I agree, I was really happy that the Supreme Court made the right decision. That, the, yes, so, that is correct. And I'm not a, a Trump voter, I didn't vote for him. But I'm a libertarian myself. Right, well, like there you I go. used to be a, in the party, actually, libertarian party. Right. Um, I switched more to the left. I uh, was a Trotskyist for a while, but then right. I grew up uh, couple years ago. Right. But you can't, in a democracy, you can't ban somebody, from, anybody from running for office. I well, mean, how about doing lawfare to fuck up the election? I mean, that's insane. Saying. I mean, that's it's not America. That's Nazi Germany shit, exactly. right? That's a, there's a separation of powers. You that, know, not anymore. Have, but not anymore. That there is correct. So isn't it weird? BLM can burn down the fucking United States, but if you go to January 6th, you're you're spending big time you're for an insurgent or a, yeah you did uh, they didn't they didn't burn anything they didn't have a gun yeah. shot Ashley Babbitt right in the freaking neck she didn't have a gun no, no, it's, so so again is that it's two, two different justice systems one for uh, you, that, liberals and one for the rest of okay here's the justice Whether system the, the justice system is the justice the or just us, us. yes yeah, there yeah, you go uh, there you're, you're awake man there's yeah. so many sheep here it's sad it is sad it is very sad but in my mind because we have a lot of, even when I was in the far left like the Marxist left right and, uh, it's a, I was in the uh, socialist alternative right which, which was committee for workers and it doesn't matter it, right this Marxist party right right we had a lot of the exact same complaints that the libertarian party and all third parties have and it's that like, you have no chance not that we don't have any chance but it's just that it it's set up the, it claims it's the democracy but you know what they, you know, a one-party state is a dictatorship. Yes. But a two-party state is just a one-party state with one extra party. <laughs> right. You know what I mean? And right. they're so similar. That you absolutely know what I mean? correct. Basically, is like they're both kind of one party. They just play it up like they're against each other. That's correct. When the nuts and bolts and the rubber hits the road, it's the same the shit. Caesars. That is correct. I think the American people are sick of it, and I hope that Robert Kennedy, even though I don't agree with yeah. the Yeah, did you see that? Might go third party. No, uh, what is it, the is no it, party yeah, thing or whatever? Yeah, party party. Or yeah, yeah, they say they are going to do something. Yeah, so he's, he's independent right now. I wish they wouldn't even call it independent. Like, call him what his party is, whatever right. it is. I don't, I'm not sure exactly what it is, but... Now, like, which country should we them. emulate? Since you did experience the socialist fascism parties, which country do you think we should emulate? I would like to see a social democracy, like okay. the, like uh, the northern, you know, the Scandinavian kind of model. Yeah, Maybe not to the extreme work. of uh, the welfare state, but right. I, I do believe that um, a little bit of a safety net for people who are going to use that as a right. stepping stone to get back into society. But you know, everybody abuses it now, though, see, right? That's, that's I, the that's, problem. That's the problem. Yeah, but, everybody abuses it. I, I, yeah, so if we could just figure out a way to make sure that the people that want to abuse it. Right. It's not get access to it. Right. But the people who actually live legitimately need just a, a little bit to right. step up and become productive again. Right. And I'm not a policy wonk, so I don't know how we could do that. But I'm right. sure there's a way. I mean, this, right. it's, it worked for since the New Deal up until right. 90, Clinton or somebody in 96 with the Welfare and Yes, Reform correct. Act, right? Yes. I mean, if it works for that long... We can we can figure it out. We're Americans. We can we figure everything out. Everything's right pretty messed up though right now, right? It seems that way, but that's what the media says. Everything's really messed up right now. But look at us. We're standing on the street corner having yeah, a civil conversation without the same politics, but, oh, and we're having a great day, dude. But that's funny you say you that. Though. Do you see what? Look on the sign real close. What do you see? All, see all these I little dots? Blue. Yeah. Do you know what that is? I was bear sprayed from a truck for protesting right here. Right freaking here, dude. In America. What, yes, one of these freaking Nazis here. Yeah. And and guess what? Like what a, was he convicted? No, of course not. Exactly. Yeah. It, yeah, you're right. They're like brown shirts. They're like yeah, the SA. Literally. The SA before Hitler. Literally. Did and you he, know they when even... I in, when I was on the, in the, uh, com, uh, not the Communist Party, the Trotskyist Party, uh, right. we were dealing with the same people. You know what I mean? We were fighting against them literally in the streets and stuff. Not like Antifa. Shit, yeah, like, retarded. Yeah, that was insane. You know, insane. but we're counter protesting. Right. And believe me, I understand the struggle because I, of political agitation, right. or trying to get your point right. across because I did it for many years. You what, know, what's so. your opinion of our founding fathers? Were they patriots or were they uh, actually uh, insurrectionists? I think they were both. 
Yes, I agree with that. Yeah. I agree. They killed the Red Coat British police just because they were taxing us, taking our guns, and entering our house. Absolutely. And here's the sad part. Everything's illegal now. Did they fight for everything to be illegal? No. Would they be rolling in their graves right now? I believe they are. Uh, yeah, I believe they are, too. Right? And that's another thing. Like, being on the far left, even, we're pro... My party was pro-Second Amendment. There, the yeah, you made. have to, man, in case your government gets out of control. It's tyrannical. Exactly. Okay, Second Amendment is for deer hunting or bad government hunting? Bad government hunting. That is correct. Yeah. Why Why do so many people here don't, don't even know that? Corporate media. There's a Nazi. Yep, I know. It's just... <laughs> it's, it's, it is indoctrination propaganda. It's indoctrination isn't propaganda through the media. Corporate isn't media. that neat? That what do you the, think it is? Corporate media? It, I agree with that. At, well, it's not just corporate media but because now whole, you got Facebook. Media, yeah, Facebook, Google, Radis. YouTube. Yeah. It, oh, my God. Yeah. Look what they did with Twitter. Oh, yeah. You know, a lot of those uh, old anarchists like Chomsky and stuff are you yes. trying to laugh at, a lot of them do have a point with manufacturing consent and things like that. Right. I think is a book that people of every political persuasion should read because he really I does I break have not down. read that one. That is interesting. Oh, it's great. And it's from the 80s, but he explained right. even back then how governments can manufacture consent for their policies right by utilizing the media and this right. is in like 86 he wrote this you know? right and now it's and even it, worse and now yeah Way. Him, he's almost dead he's like you know so old right now. and he's like i never thought it would even get this did bad, you think 1984 you know? the book would actually become reality <laughs> right not in my lifetime did you ever watch the movie idiocracy of course i did are, are I we there are we there right now too. are we there right now we're rapidly approaching it. Isn't it sad, man? Yeah. President Camacho's it? right around the corner. Right? <laughs> you know? Yeah. It's, uh... So you, you do, we do something about you it. You do know the man. sad part about a democracy, though, right? What's up? Uh, it, it's mob, mob rule. rule. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So this is what happened. A couple weeks ago, They they somebody put me on Nextdoor app. Yeah. 220 comments until I found out about it. I got in there. Then I'm banned for life now, by the way. Just for getting in the conversation. So they, half the people are literally talking about doing harm. Yeah, that's why I drove. Literally. That's why I had to leave the, far, the extreme left. Right. The hard left. Because they were talking? Well, yeah, because they imply heavily armed uh, insurrection. And I said, right. okay, guys, that's all well and good. But right. it sounds to me more like you just want to have get your violence out than right. you actually implement your policies. And that's not what I'm here well, for. Well, sadly, we I have... Wanna help, I want to help working class right. people. I don't want to hear violence. Right. I don't I don't either, but sadly we've tried to do it right, you know, for years. Yeah, it but it's not working. I, you do know why they said to trim the tree from time to time, right? Of course. Yeah, for government that's too big. Like the sheriff and is also, too big, the Punta Gorda is too big. Like Jefferson said, for all the flaws Jefferson had, um, you know, and all the good things he did too. Right. Uh, the tree of liberty must be uh, you know, refreshed with uh, the blood of patriots. That is correct. Time. But there's a difference. As long as it's, it can't be against working class people. That's the thing. It's yeah, like, the know, Civil War got the pretty they, bad, man. Yeah, it got, it I got mean, bad. You think the average Confederate soldier owned slaves? Right. Like, Correct. You know? Correct. I mean, and I. And there's still slaves in the world right now. I know. In I, Africa. In in my county, they regularly. In, in America, there's yeah. still some. Yeah, there's still in Immokalee. It's an agricultural place. So oh, they, that I, is they, a form of slavery. Yeah, they you found, are correct. About, about a decade ago, they found right. a whole bunch of migrant workers. They were all illegals. Right. They were chained to their in like a barracks right type thing, but right by the uh, orange groves where they were right. picking the fruit. Right. And they were handcuffed to their bunks, and they the owner of the place had taken all their passports, so they what? couldn't even leave if they wanted. It's, Dude, how old are you? On. When was this? Thirty-five. So no this is about, about a decade ago. Yeah, uh, I went. Damn. I organized with the coalition of uh, Immokalee workers. Yes, and, uh, I have seen them. Yeah, yeah, yeah they, they do good work because those. Correct. But don't you agree we have to have legal freaking... Yes, of course. You know what I mean? I'm it's adult, Dude, our you know border I mean? is wide open. We don't know who's coming in, no. what disease is yeah, coming in. Exactly. And they're, they're making it real hard for the working man. Yes, they person? are. Because yes, they, they are. You job. just look right here. How many Mexicans are doing the jobs that we used to do? Exactly. And even if they're not the jobs I want to do, they're driving the wages down for all oh, jobs absolutely. across the board. Absolutely. But the thing is... is and like, they wonder why we can't afford houses, right? Right. Thank you. The problem is, is that me and you already know this. Yes, so it's, it's like, all the sheep that... You're preaching to the choir, you know, but you're doing a good thing standing out here. This is what I used to do myself. You right. I mean, I had my flag, I had my people. Right. You know what I mean? And we would go protest all over my How hometown. long have you been here in Punta Gorda? Uh, I'm just working the craft show. I live in Naples, Florida, a little bit further south. All right. You, you know they banned free speech here for a while, right? Did you hear I, about that? I said I didn't hear. So three years ago, uh, I had the fuck Biden flag. Yeah. Dude, they literally banned free speech. Literally, you got a warning, then a $100 well, ticket, then a car? Huh? On your car? No, your uh, with a sign. You can't say the word fuck? No, they banned it. That 
is absolutely uh, against the Constitution, first of all. Correct. Correct. Yeah. So I had I got Rutherford in the studio in Washington D.C. We sued in state court. We won there. We sued in federal court. We won there. Thank you. But and now the ordinance is totally gone. But dude, they gave me tons of tickets, fined me thousands of dollars, put liens on my house for free speech, and just because I won twice, they arrested me for free speech on a sidewalk. Of course. Well, you know that's it, what they do. If they can't get just you, just look what they're they doing to Trump, you. right? Yeah, they bully Correct. you and hope that you fold. And most people, unfortunately because they don't have the resources Correct. to defend themselves properly. It, it is disgusting. It is sad, man. Yeah. And again, it does not remind me of America. It reminds me of like, well, not, why Nazi Germany. Germany. Moving into Nazi Germany that is there. correct. So that's a bad part with democracy. Like I said, look yeah. what they did on next door. They're literally saying, can a motorcycle gang make them disappear? What? That's crazy. That's yeah. inciting, is it not? It is quite inciting. Yes, yeah, yeah, correct. Why like can't they just go out on the other corner and do what they want? You know what I'm saying? I gotta get back to work, but I'll leave you with one thing. This is What's the that? funniest item to go. You so got a card? Cool. You're you're dude, uh, you're good, man. Uh, I can give you my number if you want to talk sometime. I don't have my phone on me. I'll give you my number. Right. But I gotta tell you. So when January 6th happened, I was still with uh, Salt or Social Salt Primitive. Okay. And. Um, when January 6th happened, it was funny because we were watching on TV and every one of us was thinking, why are we doing that? That's oh, what, I wish we there you go. We should have been with them. Right. You know what I mean? Even right. though they were supporting, uh, you know, Trump and, and, you know, they don't support uh, capitalism. They're, right. You know, Communist Party. They were like, these people are actually taking action. What do we do? Well, we sit around and read books and you know, say what we're going to do. Or a Libertarian Party wear a rubber boot on your head. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know, I met him, by the way. <laughs> yeah. No, because I voted for, like, um, uh, you know. Uh, Rand Paul, uh, Rand, Ron Paul? Uh, Ron Paul. Yes, uh, correct. With my first when I turned 18. Wow, you know, very, very was, good. Uh, yeah, he would have been awesome. Oh, my God. Been, I think he would have been like that guy that was elected with a chainsaw that's cutting the government in half. Who was that new guy that, uh, in one of the uh, Spanish countries? Oh, um, uh, I can't the guy in Chile, the, I believe. Right? Uh, something like that. Yeah, he's yeah. cutting government in half, man, because it's completely out of control. Yeah, I think it is Chile. I, is could, it be, Chile? I could be wrong. I, I know, yeah, it doesn't matter. But I, I, I do... Uh, okay, what's the number? Uh, okay, so the number is 239 area code because it's two, Naples. Three, nine, yep. yep. Uh, 692. Six nine two sixty eight sixty two sixty eight sixty two. You can call my phone even though it's back at the booth. Right. And then um, you can put my name in as well, Patriot. Uh, yeah, say Casey Patriot. That'll Casey Patriot six yeah. nine two six eight six two. That's it. Got it, man. Thanks right. for being awake. Of course. So many sheep there. Thanks for being out here. Can you spread the... I'm, dude, I'm the only one It's this guy. Actually, there was, a, there was another person. You know what they did to him? What? Jailed him. They jailed him too, dude. I'm dead serious. Look him up. Ian McGuire, hate the state. They freaking jailed him too, Ian man. Ian McGuire, hate the state. I'll check it out when dude, I get back to the Valgo online. Freaking... Dude, they put him in prison for this free is speech. Gestapo shit. You're right. It is Gestapo shit. That's, Gestapo. that's why I'm doing... Yeah. I mean, that's what Ge that's what Germany did. They made this yeah. to worship, right? Now they're making this to worship, correct? Yeah, and it's like what I would love to see is what they used to they derogatorily call a red brown coalition, which I, ooh. But what I would like to see is the left, the reasonable left, I right, mean, and the right, right, or, or the libertarian right, right, as I call it, right. People like me and you, right, basically come together for against the, our common enemies right. and then work it out between ourselves as far as what we want the economics to be. Right. You know, because until we get these people out of there, correct. whatever we believe is never, it, it's hard to get it implemented, you know? I, so, I agree. Just like China during their their uh, revolution or whatever. You mean the when they ran over them with a tank? Well, no, no, before then. Like, oh, when they okay. Were, All right. Yeah, that one. All right. So, like, the Communist Party and the Nationalists were fighting each other, fighting each right. other, fighting each other. Yep. And, during World War II, right? But yep. during World War II, uh, before World War II, when World War II happened, the Japanese invaded, they literally banded together right. as a military unit and under one leadership and fought and drove the Japanese out and then resumed Damn. fighting each other after that. You know what I mean? That's but wild, they were, man. If they were able to literally form an army after right. fighting against each other right. and for five years or ten years, however long it took to drive the Japanese off China's right. land, then I don't see why uh, the the so-called right, the libertarians, right. and some of the far-left elements that are not insane, right. like the anarchists and <laughs> right. Antifa and shit like that, right. can't do something you know just civilly. 
politically. But and again, like when, do, when, do, when do we not again. call it insane, though, dude? Because like, like I said, we just discussed it. The, I don't want bloodshed. No. But again... It, sometimes that's... Yes, you that's know? my point. And the thing is, like... That's you know, how they're trying to what, take the guns, because they don't want you to fight right, back. And so, like, I'm not a Maoist. By any, I never was a Maoist. Right. But some of the stuff you said was right about... Uh, Political power grows from the barrel of a gun. Right. That's one thing. The other thing I liked he said was that politics is war without bloodshed. <laughs> war is politics right. with bloodshed. Right. And what did Germany say? We don't have to invade and we just have to get into the schools. That's right, yeah. The and look, and, and yes, and now they're being taught chop your penis off, oh, chop God, your boob no, off, be a commie. All right, all right. That's a whole other stop. All <laughs> because right. I, believe, I know what you're saying and I agree with I you. I can get the sign for 25 bucks if you want help. If I lived here, I would. Damn it. I, I'm gonna go home tonight. All right. All right but keep uh, just moral support, though. You know. All right. I mean? Yes, I need that because yeah, there's a lot of sheep okay? here. It's really sad. Absolutely. Yeah. Call me anytime you want to talk. All right, man. All right. All right. Is that my yep. name? Yep. Yep. What's your name? Andy. Andy. All right. Please meet yep. you. Andy. If you get bored, look up Andy Sheets on City of Puerto Gordo on Google. You'll see the mess. It's I'll a do. nightmare, dude. All right. I'll All right. Hurry up before he tases you. <laughs> yeah. Right. Exactly. Yeah. He'll tase you. Hurry up. America's becoming. America's becoming like Nazi Germany. You will be fined three hundred fifty million dollars if you speak out, like Trump was. Oh my God! Okay, they like to—they like communism. Be careful; they might take your wallet. Give it to Ukraine. What's that? I'm actually a, a libertarian. I would actually prefer uh, Rand Paul. Can we make Rand Paul Trump? Right. How to replace Congress? Ooh, so that's, very good. That's radical, man. You might go to jail for that nowadays. Well, I was afraid of my life when I published, published it? it. Yeah. Did you get any threats? Did any like? Did you all of a sudden get audited? I didn't. I I didn't. Right. Surprisingly, I didn't. I'm shocked. I, I wrote. Uh, oh yeah. I wrote Trump. A letter in 16, sent him a check, sent him a copy of my book. Right. And that was in October of 16. Right. And in January, or in February, right. I called my dad up. I said, did you hear Trump on TV? He said, he read your book. Why? What did he say? He, he was taking quotes. Oh, so Ooh, very good, never man. Never mentioned my book. Never mentioned my book. Oh, my God. Never oh, there's it. a communist back there. You might take your wallet, be careful. And give it to Ukraine. All right? Can you believe that... Did this sound like a dictator in Biden's speech the other day? Oh. I couldn't stand to I watch mean, his it. his first State of the Union was absolutely... I mean, are you kidding me? Did you fall out of a turtle shell? Right. How many drugs do you think they had him on the other but, night? Uh, I mean, here's the kind of... Oh, good God. A lot of drugs. Right? I think he had some cocaine from his son. I mean, uh, so basically I only associate with... Um, with what? Patriots. I, by, by, I hope you didn't go to January 6th. Me? Yes. No. Good. Because uh, they're going to go for yeah. everybody. You're still bashing Trump after this three years of circus. Right. Your commitment to stupidity is impressive. <laughs> I said their gaslighting can't and won't ever reverse. Right. If they even think about it, they go in and get a booster shot. Right. You're stuck with them. Right. We're not going to change them. I mean, right. All the talk in the world is going to change them. Right. The shot's going to have to get him. You know, that was one bad thing with Trump. He pushed it, man, and now it's killing people, man, on the shot. Well, And, the t you know, Twitter's telling all the truth on that. It's insane. Well, it's, it is it um, is one of the things that I, I suggested in my letter in 16, and this time I was more specific. Right. I said, appoint me as uh, a presidential of, of, of a team okay. where we go in and we... We review, audit, and share right. any and all agencies' Ooh. meetings. We, all we, the alphabet we, we don't, we That'd don't be good. We don't, an, we don't answer questions. We don't right. ask questions. We just listen. Right. And we find out, because it would not take me but what, two meetings to find out who a Fauci is. Right. I mean, good God. Right. The man, he needs to be hung. Yes. Very right. good. I mean, On a pole. That's yeah. right. What about putting Biden on a cross like Jesus? Or no. just take that no. freaking... No? He's going to die He's anyways? Dying. He ain't Jesus. 
I, I know he's not Jesus, but I'm saying but like I Jesus. No sim- I don't want no symbolism. Oh, of right. Him. right, right, right. But you know that's why we used to tar and feather and all that because then they would fear the government, right? And now we don't do that. And now look what we got. I'm we just, got Biden. I just, uh, I just wrote a, a letter that I've sent out to a bunch of my Patriot friends. Right. Uh, to send to their Congress and Senators. They're trying to pass a DACA law uh, that will allow them to be uh, law enforcement carrying guns. Okay, what about it? They're illegal migrants. Oh, children, yes, children, that's bad. It's children, bad. It's unbelievable. I know about it. I know about it. Of illegal I know. It is unbelievable, it's man. Like, are you trying to pass legislation? Right. And I put together and I said, what you guys are dealing with, and this is what most people do, they, they deal with symptoms, not the problem. Right. So, so the symptom is is hire more law enforcement right? because we have more crime? No, right. no, 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 no. What you have to do is enforce the crimes that are being right. committed. Right. And you ought to see my enforcement. Right. If somebody steals $3 million, they're executed. Right. Now, what about, uh, you know and I know, all states that have open carry, crime is low because if you say something stupid, you might get shot, right? Why can't we just do that nationwide? Well, technically, technically, it is a violation of our second amendment. People don't even understand why we have a Second Amendment. Right. It's to protect us from the third. Right. Protect which us is, from the third. Which is a standing army. Oh, damn. All right. Yeah. I, okay. So, if, I mean, if I was high in high school, so I got to think about it. If government, really if government, high. well, that's why I wrote the book. Because, right. <laughs> because we found out a secret about our Constitution. Right. We don't know it. What's that? We really? don't know. We don't know that, we, that senators have one six year term limit. We don't know that. Right. Read Article One, Section Three, Paragraph Two. Right. Did you know? So I have a. So I have a, a quote. It's obvious we won't ask the second question. Right. If we didn't know there was a first question. True. So here's the first question that What's I've asked that? over eight thousand people. Right. Did you know that by Constitution, senators are put into three classes as equal as possible? No, I did not. Class one, class two, class three. It's right. Simple. Right. So every state has two senators. It was cho- it done. It was done by the Constitution. Every, right. Every state has two senators of two different classes. Interesting. Did not know that. So exactly. So in 2024, I mean, do you ever find out that some years you don't vote for senators? True. Right. You wonder why that was. Why? Well, it's because the senator wasn't. They didn't expire the class this year. So right. This year in 2024. Right. 33 class 1 Senate seats expire. Interesting. Expire. Right. And Article Article 1, Section 3, Paragraph 2 says, upon expiration of your class, your office shall be vacated. Interesting. They only use the the word shall for senators. Right. They only put senators in the classes. Right. They they gave them one secure term because they wanted no one in public office. Uh, longer than six years. I'm saying the word politician is a borrowed word from Greek and does not belong in American government. Interesting. Six years and out. Out for ten. Right. And, and no association, affiliation, contracts, nothing. You, you can't work with anybody that works for uh, works for or sells to the government. Right. you got to go into the private world. After ten years, which actually ends up being about 12, 14. Right. Right. Is then if you can get reelected, you can get reelected. But right. The system, right. That's the problem. Right. And, and you you cannot have a Right. It, it's pretty bad. All right. Yeah. Yeah. I don't want you to get tased. Good to meet you. America's becoming like Nazi Germany. You'll be. America's becoming like Nazi Germany. If you speak out, you'd be fined $350 million. It's very sad. That's what they fined Trump, $350 million. And they charge him 95 times. Is that America or Nazi Germany? What's that? When you see him with a Bible and it's upside down. Okay. I am. 
That's bullshit. Why? What does that mean? It's, what? That I means, don't. I don't have a tinfoil hat. What does that mean? It means to me that this guy is in it for himself. Okay. That's where Nazism started with. He right. He read Mein Kampf two. Right. And he used that for philosophy. Or used to. Right. He, he's dropped that a little bit. But if he gets in again, and we elect a man that has umpteen things that are proven against him right. already, we're more nuts than the rest of the world. What? So you, you think... I like my freedom. I was in Vietnam. I fought for your ass. Yep. And you're here because I was over there. Well, we shouldn't have been there. McNamara said he lost his son. Yes, that was political. Too. And he said that was all over oil. Right. That's the United States. Right. You know, it's always about oil. Right. Why don't you go preach this somewhere else? It, it, uh, I, I'm fighting for the uh, founding fathers. Yeah. Yeah. I like founding fathers. Yeah. How come the 14th Amendment says? Yep. And then Trump says, no, no, not for me. And he says to the people, Right. If I get in office, first thing is I'm going to take retribution. All these people, all these you realize we lost more money with Trump in than we gained? And ask me this. How come his daughter and son left the White House with $3 billion from the Arabs? Right. And they went right out of sight because they don't want that question. Oh, no. And that's a truth. So so do you think Biden's better? You, you think know, that's great I, what I he's done for three I, years? I don't think he's better. Okay. But, so but he'll last. Believe me. How old do you think I am? Uh, 65. Uh, you're short. Exactly. Keep going up. So, uh, 80, 80. Well, not quite 80. 78. Do you remember what freedom and was I, like? I'm as sharp a person <coughs> as I was when I right. was younger. I could go back teaching. I taught for 40 years. Right. And I wouldn't teach this shit. Were you, were you teaching? Right. Started the Third Reich by yes. saying, I didn't do it. Right. I didn't do it. Join me. Right. I didn't do it. Join right. me. Then when he had enough of me, he said, Go over and work that village. Over. They'll join us. Right. Go over and work that village. They'll join us. Right. And the whole thing got in motion. That's what Trump's trying to do to you. I like your shirt, right by the way. Right now. Yeah, well, I have all these people so they can talk to me. Exactly. I don't have a guy out here boasting his world away without really thinking. Uh, I, I am thinking. You know we're not supposed to repeat history, right? And, and what do you, So what do you think they're modifying the flag for? That's just what Hitler did, and now they're doing it. Who's doing it? The, the police. This is the first time I've seen yeah, the police want us to worship this one now, just like Hitler wanted us to worship that one. Well, then that's kind of messed we, up, right? We should be fighting the police. It just depends on where you're coming from. Well, well I, like, I come from a small city in Batavia, New York, and the police don't go by this. They don't. No. I they I see YouTube that. videos. They hate freedom up there, man. Well, that's probably New York. They really city. do, man. New York City should be by itself. Yes, it should be its own country, socialist, fascist, communist country. That is correct. They want to be. Right. No. Correct. And, uh, all of us earn wages. Right. In this country. You at sometimes must have had a real job uh, and you didn't like it. So now you're out here. And I don't know what Trump's paying you or what uh, he's got over you, but your mind is. What? Seriously? Biden's using lawfare to crush any dissent at all. You think that's normal and right? Excuse me? He's using lawfare. Everybody, everything's illegal. Every, everybody's going to be charged that speaks out against them. They just arrested uh, one of Glenn Beck's reporters. You think that's uh, normal? Was he one of the harassers in the? What do you mean, January six? No, 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 no. That was a guy whose uh, 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 kid died in Afghanistan when they pulled out. Oh, yeah. That is that's correct. That's a whole different situation than you know. Hey, I could have died in Vietnam. I that's that's correct. Combat. I have a busted jaw from. Right. rifle into my chin, but he died. Right. I didn't. And I went on. And, you know, I didn't hate the people. Right. The South Vietnamese were just, you know, whatever you say, whatever you say. Right. And there still are today, and that's okay. That's right. their style. Right. Our style over here is you have the right to do this. You have the right Correct. to preach out. Correct. But I just want to point out, you look like an intelligent person. I, I am intelligent. Like a, not, well, you look like you're fairly smart. I am but smart. You're, you're not tracking some of this information down. Do you think Trump was not on the island? Um, who's the guy? What, Epstein? Epstein. They have pictures. Right? 
and of course they made them up. Everything exactly. That's up. AI. Yes, they did make yeah, it up. Yeah. You're correct. And uh, you know, they justify everything. And right. We can too. I'm not even going to continue. I, I wish you luck. Have a right. nice day. You never change my vote. All right. I don't like Biden. Right. I would go for someone else. Actually, I didn't Rand like Paul? the woman. They're going to run third party, Rand, man. Rand Paul is worse. Okay, they're going to run a third party, man. Yeah. I heard it. Go to it. Right? Yeah. Are you, and it might be Kennedy. Are you going to vote for him? He's half good. I, I, I don't think he's the smartest John. Huh? <laughs> he's not as smart as John Kennedy. Oh, all I right. He, was, he at least he admitted he, that COVID was a was scam. He carrying my error, John Kennedy. Right. And I remember, oh, he's Catholic. We can't vote. Oh, he's only 35. Right. We can't vote him in. Right. And they voted him in, and as is, you know, a lot of theory, who killed him? Right. And uh, was it Oswell or was it someone else? Do you think it was our government that killed him? I think someone in the government had power enough to do Right. That. And I didn't hate him. Right. He had a beagle for his partner. Right. And his name was Johnson. Right. And he wouldn't have got to be president otherwise. Uh, and he made a reasonable president, but he was only in one term. He was gone. Well, he wanted to make radical changes and they had to kill him, right? Regime yeah. change, right? Uh, Execute him, excuse yeah, me. Yeah, well. I mean, if you get shot that many times in the head, that's, that's execution, right? I don't mind that uh, your candidate Trump right. had affairs. Uh, right. Mean, I'd say 50% of our population don't service one wife or one girlfriend for right. a lifetime. Right. Yeah, Kennedy had Marilyn Monroe. And his brother did too. Yes. And yeah. She died. And they were both on good drugs there. Oh yeah. Yeah. Uh, but he wasn't the worst president. And right. He, and he went down in history as well. Um, uh, hang on a second. Um, what they call their kingdom? Uh, Guinevere. Uh, no, kingdom. Uh, I'm not sure. He was I... called something. Right. And I thought. Eh, Appropriate name, right? Because he was one of the biggest womanizers in government. But think of this: I want to take you back to Grover Cleveland. Okay. What yep. do you think was wrong with Grover Cleveland? Uh, I'm not as old as you. I don't know. But you, you're a smart person. I. Uh, that's you true. You read okay. anything when you're I, younger? I do read. I, re I remember how we sadly had Nazi Germany, and we're not supposed to repeat it. And now we are. So that's why I'm doing this. <laughs> okay. We are. We are. Uh, Grover Cleveland. Anyways, okay. Married his niece at. 13, she moved into the White House. Right. At 15, he married her. Right. And uh, that was his niece. Right. And we didn't say anything, so who cares? Do you, do you remember what there used born. to be a say, saying way back when, old enough to bleed, old enough to breed? I don't, I'm don't. i not for that, but that's literally what it used to be, man. Yeah, well, I'm not for that either. I'm, right. I'm sorry. I, I grew up in I, 57 years with the same woman. And right. She's still okay, but she can't walk around here. So right. I'm walking around. But you know and I know, people used to be an adult, like at an early age. I mean, I, the, what, 15, 16, they were already having a house, uh, a family, well, 21, I was a business. And See, there, I, I there you go. I have a granddaughter that's 24, and I swear, if anyone marries her, she's wacko. Oh, my and, God, and, why? And, and say, why, she's a Democrat? Uh, no, she's nothing. Okay. She's just a foolish kid that, you know, if you hand her a, a million dollars yes. in a week, she won't have it. Right. She's generous. Wow. Way too generous. Right. And she can't work. Right. Uh, she graduated out of high school with only 59 days in the New York system. Why? Right. Because my wife was a special ed teacher and went in and handed on the board and said, you can't because this girl started at 13 with Botox. Right. 42 shots the first time. She had three shots. And wow. Off. So I had to go the second time, hold her hand and say, one at a time, let them. Right. And this was a week later. Right. And for every week, she had Botox. And she's now 24, and she's worked herself up to every 72 days, approximately. She needs the Botox. Seriously? Her brain just... And she's got... I know, that's like a disease, yeah. right? It is. It is a disease. And at her high school year, 59 right. days, right. the principal and all their followings at our school system said... We can't graduate her. Right. What do you mean? She never had gym. You can't fail a person in high school because they didn't have gym. Right. Because they were out. Right. 
when she was here, she went to Jim. She right. And I worked at it. Right. She went there, so don't give us that. Right. And he said she's got to take the exams like everyone else. Right. If she fails an exam, she's out of here. Right. Her worst exam was 65. All the rest were in the 80s or above. Right. So tell me she wasn't smart enough. Right. And they graduated. Right. But she worked at the library six years. Back in 20, some woman spit in her face. Oh my God. Because she said, look man, just leave the books there, I'll clean them up. Oh, didn't use the right pronoun. No. Okay. She spit in the, you know, my granddaughter's face. Right. Said, yeah, you don't take these books, you don't have to do that. I got this, I don't have anything. Right. That was it. She got COVID and she was down and had oh my never God. went back to work. Wow, that is sad. Yeah. So remember the old saying, don't repeat history? We are repeating history because our founding fathers fought for freedom, right? They literally killed the red coat British police because we taxed them, took our guns, illegally entered our house. And now. You just hit another prime thing our government is doing. What's that? We shouldn't be worried about this. Okay. We should be worried about how much taxes you pay. I worked 40 years. And how many illegals are coming over? 40 years. Well. That's another one. Give me that shit. Right. We had it with Trump, too. Right. That's all. Not like this. All, I know. That's because. Hey, I would like Rand Paul. Taking, I'm, a, I'm a libertarian. Why aren't we taking the uh, guard, National Guard? Right. Divided it into the states, and now it's your turn in the state to supply them 200, 400, 500 guards people. And right. they walk the parameter, and no one gets over this, period. You know, Florida did send people there. But so it's did New York, right? But so not. But you, you not did you masses. hear that now Biden is flying him over here? You know that, right? I did not. Yes, Biden flew in one year three hundred twenty thousand illegals into America. So you know how Americans we got to show off our ID, check oh, your bags, wait, wait, and all wait, that. Wait, wait, wait. Let's go back. Okay, what's that? He probably flew in two hundred thousand Vietnamese. No, this is there. just this past year. And then this is year. this is Spanish people. And here's a reality. What's that? Russia yep. is going to come back to bite us. And that isn't one. Yeah, they threatened us with uh, nukes. That? Well, they, they may have. Right. But their nuke capability is not up to our service. Right. Capability. But do we have balls enough to fire it off? That's mm-hmm. correct. And with the guy and that's in there right when, now, when, now. When that happens, right. what's going to happen to you? Your sister, your mother, your brother. Uh, we're going to turn into care, vapor. Someone you really care for. Right. That's right. So we can't do that. Right. But the unfortunate thing is, here we are. We're, we're at that door. Right. And people from Russia. I had in my defensive driving course in right. New York State to get a right. license. Right. I had probably 200 Russians right. at different times. Oh, my class. God. Come through. They didn't understand me. Right. And they didn't have to have an interpreter, but they had to be there for this class. Right. And I visually showed some. And, and they're in the country. How are they not sleepers? Right. Could be. Absolutely. You know what a sleeper is, right? Correct. He's, he's undermining. I, you aren't Russian. I am not Russian, okay. no. Good. No. <laughs> you look pretty American. That, I, I am American. That is correct. And you got the same color shirt. For that that is correct. But you're yeah you're the saying on there. That's good. That's good shit. Absolutely. <laughs> Have a good day. Yep. You hey, too, at least man. I, I spent some. Money. Exactly right. I know. I missed how many people. I know. America's becoming like Nazi Germany. You will be fined three hundred and fifty million dollars, like Trump was, if you speak out, or arrested and charged ninety-five times. Correct. Correct. That's not America. That's Nazi Germany. No, not going to get a vote. We're not free yet, man. You can go to Cuba if you'd like. They would love you. America's becoming like Nazi Germany. You'll be fined $350 million like Trump was if you speak out. Or arrested and charged 95 times. Uh, No, he's not. No, he's not. Why, are you a Biden communist? America's becoming like Nazi Germany. You'll be fined. America's becoming like Nazi Germany. You will be charged $350 million if you speak out like Trump was. I know. Does that, re- does that remind you of America or Nazi Germany when you, stuff like that happens? Uh, Germany. It does. Yeah. yeah. And arrested and charged 95 times. Is that disgusting? <laughs> they don't want him to work. That's right. What do they fear? 
Exactly. Thank you for being an American. America's becoming like Nazi Germany. You'll be fined $350 million like Trump was if you speak out. Or arrested and fined 95 times, whichever you want. It is very. Did you ever think it would happen in America like this? No, it's, it's a weird year. What What do they fear from him? Why Why are they doing this? What do they fear from him? Trump. I mean, to to charge him ninety five times, three hundred fifty oh. million dollar fine. Oh, I don't like Trump. <laughs> all right, all right. But you, that could happen to you, right? If you speak out against your government, you're going to be, I mean, crucified, right? Even the January Sixers, they didn't burn down stuff like uh, BLM. And they killed uh, Ashley Babbitt. America's becoming like Nazi. America's becoming like Nazi Germany. You will be fined three hundred fifty million dollars, like Trump was, if you speak out, or arrested and charged ninety-five times, whichever you'd like. See, that's right. That's wrong, isn't it? That's not America. Oh my God, she's a communist. Be careful. She might take your wallet, give it to Ukraine. You know it's true. Right? <laughs> Hey, I wanted to give you uh, What's uh, that? just unsolicited advice, but yes. um, constructive. Yes. Um, I think you need to redesign your, your banner. Right. Because the reason I came over, originally I thought it was a pro-Nazi, pro-Blue right. Lives Matter. Right. So you know what I mean? Because okay. I just, you, the eyes drawn to the symbols first, right. and then I read, it's kind of hard to read the thing at the bottom. Right. And I said, oh, he's against these things. Right. You know what I mean? So maybe like a uh, an X through or something you know what I mean right like, that this take it or leave it right that, that I'm saying that's what caught my eye and right so I came over thinking that you were pro Nazi pro police right and then yeah, I no, no, realized no. very quickly that you were yeah the no no you yeah I, I'm for freedom I, I know what you're about now yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. Just saying, I was thinking about it when I was walking over there to the women's club to see if they were open because they right. had like a lunch yep and then I was like you know what I should let them know. Just, right. you know, maybe it's just me. I have many, many signs. Don't worry. Oh, I know. Many, I, many, many signs. We'll keep doing what you're doing. You're doing good stuff. Yeah, we need to do coffee. You'll see. Dude, okay, I'll even tell you this one. up here, I'll give you a call. Do you know anybody doing this one? I'm doing a green laser protest. Five watts. I know what you're talking about. All right, and and, I, and, I'm, and I'm doing the uh, projector protest. Those are great. Our, our sheriff sucks ball, so it says, fuck sheriff from hell. Yeah, fuck yeah. you for voting for him. can't do anything about it. There you go. Very good. Well, you know, that's not true. Because I shined it on a building, they now made it illegal in Florida. A felony offense if you shine it on a building without permission. Shine light on a building? Yes. Dude, I know it. They made it a felony. I literally have to bring my own screens with me in a parking lot. I am totally serious. That's beyond all. Like I said, go back to the moon. The sun is against the law, then. The sun is against the law. Yes, it is. The sun is against the law. You can't have light. That That is correct. Is that sad? That's real. That's real, dude. That's sad. We got to do coffee, man. We do. We do. Yeah, next time I'm up here, I'll be up here tomorrow. Right? I'll give you a call, okay? All right. You have a good day, man. So where do we want to share that shit? America's becoming like Nazi Germany. America's becoming like Nazi Germany. You will be fined $350 million if you speak out like Trump. Or arrested and charged 95 times, whichever you like. Does that remind you of Nazi Germany or America, this shit that's happening? I don't know. Right? Did you go to school when they still taught that communism was bad? Or did they? Did you go to school when they taught communism was good and you should chop your penis off? <laughs> All right, there you go. So you were still free when you were in high school? Kind of. 2006. All right. So you didn't get brainwashed completely. You were all right, very good. Thank you. All right. I know, right? Communism is bad. America's becoming like Nazi Germany. You'll be fine.